Do things really ever get better? Does life get better? Well, obviously the answer to that question varies depending on who you ask. And really what I think it all comes down to is what you value the most in life. Like for example, if you're someone who was always really excited about becoming an adult and starting your own family, then hey, for you, maybe life did get better. Maybe there was a time in your life where you didn't know what you were doing, didn't know how, where things were going, you had no plans, and then a couple years passed, now you have a good job, you got a family, you got everything figured out. For someone like that, they might say, yeah, things did get better. There's some people who don't really care a whole lot about that. They might have no intentions of settling down with someone, starting a family, or maybe you just don't have any future plans, nothing excites you, and maybe the things you value most are things that have came and went, things that can never come back. Well, to that person, they might say, no, it doesn't get better. It can't get better. And as you may already know, that's kind of how I see it. Best days are behind me, are behind a lot of us, and they're, they're never coming back. They can't come back. It's not just like those days were a little bit better than things are now. No, it, it was considerably better. And, you know, some people will say, oh, it, things weren't that good when you were younger, that you just rem you only remember the good things when you look to the past. Well, I mean, that's, that's not true at all. I remember the good and the bad. And when I look back on certain events, I'm not making them out to be better than they actually were. They just actually were better. And one of the main reasons I feel we enjoy things more when we're younger is because of just that. We are young and naive. There's still a lot about the world we don't know. You have a whole different mindset. The way you look at the world and life is different. As you grow up and you learn things, you mature, and you continue to do various things over and over and over again, I, I feel like that causes us to enjoy things less. And like that, that is the case for me. Like the way I just, the way I look at life and the world now, it's, it's different. I know more. And because I know more, that's one of the reasons certain things aren't, ex aren't as exciting as they used to be. And one example that just popped into my head, and this might be kind of a stupid example, but you understand what I'm getting at? Uh, fucking Christmas. Christmas, when you're younger, you believe in Santa, and Christmas is like one of the best things ever. Now, Christmas is literally just another day. That's just one example, but you could apply that same principle to many other things. Like, everything I look at now just seems like a lesser version of what it once was. And that could apply to a lot of things, like whether, whether it's hobbies, relationships, certain events, I mean, literally anything. It just seems like a lot of these things are, like I said, lesser versions of what they used to be. It feels like their prime has came and went, which is how I feel about life like my prime is is done the best days of my life are over when I look to the future I don't really see anything I don't have these any plans it's just uh, I feel like I just I feel like I feel like I've lived my life I really feel like this I feel like I've lived my entire life and the credits have rolled and now this is like one giant post credit scene. I just feel like I have to suck it up and get through the remainder of my time here. In my eyes, my future is just going to be a lesser version of what I've already lived. And I mean, it's just like, it's just like, how could it not be? Like all the things that I enjoy doing, I enjoy way less now. And a lot of that is just because of repetition. You know, it's kind of normal for things to become less interesting the more and more you do them. Like the first time you do whatever that activity may be, it might be 
one of the best things ever. But then after doing it over and over and over and over again for years, yeah, you may still enjoy it, but it's not as amazing as it once was. And you know, this is primarily a Halo channel, so I can give you a Halo example. For me, and I know this is the case for many of you as well, the best days of Halo were the original three Halo games. Halo 1, 2, and 3. Like, those were the glory days of Halo. For me, specifically, it was Halo 3. Now, when I first played Halo 3 back in the day, I loved it. I was playing it all day, every day. I still play Halo 3 now. Not much, but I do. And I, I can still enjoy it. I can still have fun playing it. But if you ask me, am I having as much fun as I did when I first played Halo 3 back in 07? The answer is hell no. Like, no, not, not even close. And that's really solely because I've been playing it for so long. Again, that's just one example, but that same principle applies to many other things as well. And since I just brought up Halo 3, it reminded me of something else. Back when I was really into Halo, and it was all I wanted to play, there was a certain feeling that I had. A good feeling. Like, I, I will never feel that again. Like, I think there's some people who look back and reminisce on how how fun it was to play Halo back then. And they think that the reason it's not that fun anymore is because we haven't had a new good Halo game in a long time. But even if we do get a new Halo game and it's the best Halo we've ever played, if Halo Infinite is the best Halo game ever, it still won't be the same is when I played Halo back in the day. I still won't have that same feeling, not even close. I won't be back to playing Halo all day, every day, and loving it as much as I once did. No, that's gone. That's done. And I'm sure some of you feel that same way. And this isn't just about Halo, this extends way beyond just Halo. You could relate this to anything. There are many different activities or events that I partook in back when I was younger that are not even close to being as exciting or interesting now. Everything is just kind of dull and boring. And I know I say this in a lot of these videos, but I'm going to say it again because I want to make it clear. This is not me bitching and complaining and crying. I'm literally just sharing my thoughts. Like, it, 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 it is not an issue for me at all to avoid talking about this. I, I can bury these thoughts and never bring it up. That's, that's easy. But I just decided one day, you know, what the hell? I like making videos. There's some things I could share. And I know some people enjoy these videos and find things relatable, so I'm gonna keep doing it. But yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. But I guess one of the main reasons I'm even sharing this is just because some people say life does get better and some people say it doesn't. And I guess they're both right. It can get better and it cannot. But I think that has a lot more to do with the person and what they value most in life. Like the things I value the most are things that have come and gone and they can never come back. It, it, that's it. And you know, it, it it's annoying I guess just knowing like I might still have a lot of time left but it's all just going to be a lesser version of the life I've already lived like there is still a lot of things for me to do and experience but I just don't care a whole lot about that and that doesn't matter to me as much. And that's not going to replace or, or make up from the things that I've lost. And like right now, I, I just, I feel like I'm in a really weird spot because like, let me put it like this. I feel like from the time I was born until like, uh, like when I was 17 and, and a half, I was uh, enjoying life. Things were great. I was loving it. We were happy. And then a little bit before I turned 18, I started realizing, wait a minute. 
I'm about to be an adult. And I overthunk the, is overthunk? No, overthunk is not a word, but I was overthinking the shit out of that. Oh my God, I'm going to be a, I'm an adult. I'm an adult. Holy shit. This is it. And I, that I should, I shouldn't have been overthinking it like that. Cause yeah, I was 18. I am an adult, but like, ah, that's, uh, that's still fucking young. I didn't realize that at the time. I felt as old as I feel now, being 25, when I was 18. But fuck, man, 18 was still young. And that doesn't mean, like, when I'm 30, I'm going to look back on 25 as young. No, I don't think so. I'm just... In my head, if you're not, if you're either young or you're old, <laughs> it's just one or the other. That's how I look at it. And at this point, I just consider myself fucking old. I mean, obviously, 60 is a lot older than 25. So I'm not necessarily, I guess when I say I'm old, I'm not necessarily, not necessarily just, just talking about the age. I'm just talking about life in general. Like I'm an adult, I'm 25 and I just don't see much changing from here on out. But uh, yeah, from like one to 17 was loving life. And then when I was Right, right before I turned 18, I started freaking out. I'm an adult. Oh my God, it's over. Had a ton of regrets. And I was just bothered by that for years. Just reflecting on my life and thinking about all the things I didn't do and I missed out on. And that, like, I was so paranoid about that for so long. And it was, like, really getting to me. I had, like, a ton of anxiety about it. And it was bothering me. I would think about these regrets all day, every day. And then all of a sudden, it just, it just stopped. It just stopped like a couple years ago. Maybe when I was like 22 or 23, that's when the paranoia stopped. And I just, I, I just stopped caring. And now I just, I, I don't care about, like, I don't care about anything. I'm not bothered by a ton of shit. It's just like, it is what it is. I'm, like, I feel like I'm just stuck in, in limbo. And I mean, a lot of us might feel like that now because, because it's 2020. But that's, I mean, I, I felt this way before all the crazy events of 2020. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. That's pretty much how I've been feeling. And, I don't know, just, you know, talking about this, it's kind of freaking me out that I'm not, I'm not as bothered by it as I, as I feel like, as, as I feel like I should be. Like, I'm saying all these things, but I'm like... I feel like I have no emotion right now. I don't know. It's it's weird. The way my outlook has been on life uh, lately is pretty much it just it is what it is, right? When when something really shitty happens, I just hey, is what it is. If somebody somebody dies, hey, happens. And like yeah, that's that's the thing, man. A lot of a lot of shitty things are are to come. You we we. We all know that, especially when it comes to, to death. Like, you know, like, of course, assuming nothing, no freak thing happens to me, I, you know, I have to watch a lot of loved ones die. Like that, that is inevitably going to happen unless, like I said, something happened to me. Like, that's just, that's fucking weird, man. Like that, that's really where I start to question how the fuck people can say life gets better. Like, how the fuck can it get better when all these loved ones, they just, they die. And it's like, now you're here with, so you're telling me life gets better once they're all gone, right? So you grow up, like, once once all these loved ones die as you're growing up, it's like, it's supposed to get better. I don't know, man. I, I'm just, I can't comprehend it. I know you're not saying it gets better because your loved ones are dying, but I just don't know how it could. Like, what? So you have to deal with that as you get older. Plus, your body, your your own body is aging. Who knows what kind of health conditions you might develop as time goes on. And also, like, some of the stuff I talked about earlier in the video, there's a lot of other things that just just get worse or just get less interesting as you get older and I really just don't see how it could get better well at least for somebody like me and 
the things that I value most in life. And when I say that, when I'm when I'm talking about like the things I value most, I'm I'm just thinking back. I'm thinking back on a lot of uh, on, on a lot of the the things I used to do when I was younger, and uh, a lot of those things I don't want to I don't want to get into specifics, but a lot of those things are just they're, they're I mean they're they're just not possible anymore. They can't happen anymore. And even the things that I can still do now will not be as enjoyable as they once were. But anyways, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, very positive video today. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Um, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how many more of these I got. I mean, I definitely have more thoughts to share, but let me know if, you're, if, you, still, if, you, if you don't mind me throwing in a video like this every once in a while. And also tell me, are you genuinely happier in life now than you were several years ago? Especially if you're older than 20. Are you genuinely happier now being 20, 25, 30 or older uh, than you were back in your teens or younger? Because when people tell me they are, it really just it blows my fucking mind. Because, like, if you actually mean that, if you, if you are genuinely happier now than you were when you were a kid, like, that, that's, cra that's so crazy to me. And one more thing I wanted to mention, I just remembered. I, I think, like, I think maybe the only way I could see things improving, maybe, probably not, is I, I would need there to be some type of like drastic change in my life, and I mean that's just I, I don't know that would I don't know if that would make me happier. I mean, I'm I'm saying it probably wouldn't. I'm just saying there's a chance because like right now I, I'm basically living the same life I've been living uh, since I was a kid, except well you know you just go down the list. Uh, this thing isn't as exciting as it used to be anymore. Uh, these people are no longer around. That's not possible anymore. You know, all these things are either not possible anymore or are worse than they once were. And I'm still living like the same type of lifestyle. Like I feel if there was some kind of drastic change in my life, like I moved, I got a different job. I started dating, which I've never even started doing that yet. Like maybe if I really mixed it all up, like then maybe I think I would start enjoying things more again. I, I don't know. I doubt it, but that, that was just a thought. Anyways, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.